Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do kind of like a little chit chat, little mini vlog. I'm getting ready to go out with my daughter. It is my daughter's birthday. She's turning six today. And it was just my son's birthday um, a few days ago. So we're gonna go out for both of them. And I'm gonna wax my armpits real fast and then put on a little bit of makeup before my baby wakes up. Um, it's not gonna be my preferred method because I prefer my uh, mermaid wax. I prefer my mermaid wax, but it is um, it takes a long time to heat up, so I'm gonna have to use this other wax that I don't really like. It tends to break all the um, This right here used to be a registered home salon, and um, I had to close it down for the public because this is cleanser. I had to close it down for the public because I just didn't have the time for it no more. It's going to be challenging to do it while I'm trying to record it because it's challenging like this a little bit and then recording anymore. Okay. Let's see. Let's see here. Just letting it dry real fast. And I love waxing just because, you know, it gives you a lot less irritation and in ingrowns than you know whenever you shave uh, it can cause irritation and that irritation can lead to darkness so it's really cool to wax you know to have lighter armpits okay let's see and you can probably hear my computer noise I have a different computer instead of my Apple. My Apple one, I put it over there, and this one's noisy, so you might be able to hear that, but I'm gonna work on that too, for it not to be as loud. Okay, let's see. Like I said, it's gonna be challenging. Stretch off the skin. Oh yeah, I've been so busy. Um, I'm working on a project I'm so excited with my husband and I can't wait to share but not yet, it's not time to share yet okay. we're going to Santa's Wonderland I think that's what it's called Tomorrow we're, we're going to go where my son was for his birthday, oh. which is, <laughs> which is, um, he hasn't chose that, that thing is going to do bounce bounce or urban air, and um, they're getting old, my son turned 6 and my daughter she turned, sorry, my son turned 8 and my daughter turned 6, and on the day of their birthday I take them out of school, and I gave them a hundred dollars so they can go shopping wherever they wanted. It was just a mini day, me and them shopping. And then I had like a birthday cake and a few people over. And then they got to pick where they want to go for their birthday. So today's that day for Jasmine. Let's see. It needs to be looked. This wax right here writes, uh, dries so fast. And waxing looks easy, but there's a lot of things you have to be aware of to make sure it's done safely. So get it done by a professional unless you really know what you're doing. You know, first. Because you can hurt yourself, burn yourself, other things can go wrong. Yes, it's easy, but if you know all those things, you know? So. Okay. You just see the sign because, like I said, it used to, it used to be a registered home salon. But, and I pretty much left it. I made a few changes. It, well, it's open to the 
sorry, it's close to the public, but you know, I left it like a salon for personal use. Some family and stuff. But let me do this heart pin, then I'm gonna do my makeup. And we're gonna do the famous fur oil. This one right here, it treats and prevents ingrown hairs. It's so luxurious. You can use it in all over your body and stuff, but it's specifically made for the bikini area. And I also like to put it here after a wax, because like I said, it helps treat and prevent ingrowns. And this is like all the rage. If you go to a professional, you know, waxer, this is like one of the most high products and it smells so good. You put it on there and it's like a nice little perfume for that area. So. Ah, there we go. Um, yeah, this is my little wax station. We have a little tour, let's see, little cleansing pads, wax sticks, the big ones, because I used to do Brazilian waxes, and little sticks. For the Brazilian box area too. We have the big ones and the little ones. Right here we have gloves. Treats and prevents ingrowns. And this little fur one, it's uh, like a spot treatment. The fur ingrown concentrate. Uh, it's like a spot treatment for ingrown hairs. Sanitizer micellar water. This is to exfoliate on there. Is that my brother? Um, body powder just pour it down there before I do the waxes because sometimes they be sweating wax pot let's do my makeup now Alexa just woke up <laughs> bedhead um, yeah I'm gonna attempt to do my makeup he's here um, honestly I left my circle this past few months it's been pretty bad you know uh, I think what happened was is that I have a baby <laughs> I have three other kids but but the biggest thing is that I used to have a the, the home salon I'm telling you about and I closed it down to the public already and it didn't make me want to do like my nails like, basically whenever I had the salon I was like okay I have to have my nails done my hair done my makeup you know, because I work and in the beauty industry, and how am I going to work in the beauty industry not being done up? But then when I close the salon down, it's kind of like, oh, my hair doesn't have to be done this week. My nails are uh, next week. And before you know it, I was just here home, not taking care of myself. So I'm trying to change that. And I think that's a big thing with, like, stay-at-home moms or if you work from home. Um, it just gets easy like that, you know? And something that I've always practiced and I preach is make a routine that's going to be realistic for you to keep up, you know? That's why my hair is dark right now because forever, forever, I, let me do my makeup. Forever, forever, I used to be, you know, kind of like blonde, different shades of blonde. And right now I'm so busy, I don't have time for all that upkeep. So for me, you know, brunette works best. I do have some caramel highlights but they don't have to be it's a much easier color to maintain basically and when I used to do makeup for people they tell me like teach me a routine that you know I can do every day I, I want contour highlighting but if you're not a person that's gonna do that every day you're just not gonna do it so and then you promise yourself yeah I'm gonna do my makeup I'm gonna do my makeup but probably what you're pro probably what you're promising yourself you're gonna do every day it's just too much for your routine, you know, for your life. Maybe ask, you know, I would tell them, learn a routine that's more like a five minute, 10 minute routine um, that you're actually gonna be able to do every day and not get discouraged because you didn't, you know? Okay, so we're gonna do a little foundation. Right now, where's my little, oh this. I know I told you guys I didn't like this that much, but right now my face has been breaking out so bad it's hormonal and this is one of the well the only things i know is the estee lauder double wear 
Can that didn't break me out back then when I, whenever I had acne. And then this one right here, the Laura True Match Nude, it doesn't break me out worse. And that's the reason why I haven't used anything else right now. I don't have the double wear with me right now. I only have this one. That's the reason I love this. I told you I didn't like it back then because it didn't give me like no coverage. But right now, it is my favorite because, like I said, it doesn't break me out. When you have this like bumpy texture and all that stuff, anything you put on top can look cakey and you can see it. But this is one thing you can't see it. It almost looks like if I'm not wearing no makeup at all. And I'm going to start doing my makeup again with the minimal, you know, routine, everything. I'm going to have everything done again, my nails, my makeup, but, you know, more minimal, more realistic. Um, We're going to do a little concealer. I'm going to use this one right here. And my eyes burn. <laughs> I have some look. I have sunscreen. I have this thing, this is like my go-to makeup or things that I'm trying out, testing out, etc, etc. And, where's the concealer? It left. So, I don't know. We'll use this one. This is the e.l.f. People's favorite. Now for my lashes, I'm going to use the Lash Princess. This is like a, like such a ray of mascara. And to me... I don't think is as good as people make it seem to be, but it is one of the most affordable mascaras and it's not that bad. So you know, cause now makeup is getting pricey and this is, how much is it? Four or five dollars? That's a little bit for what makeup runs. So I can see why it's left. The You saw my thing right now. Makeup everywhere. But it's alright. Bought this at the Dollar Tree and it's so cute. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Jesus. Let it dry first. Prices are increasing, but there's just there's still a lot of like good makeup out there for five dollars. So I think that'll be such a good video. Right? Oh. If you know me, I'm actually a very frugal person. I love, love saving money and making money. But I also like quality. I'm okay with spending more, a lot more, you know, for quality. But um, just me as a shopper, I'm very frugal, very minimal. I love it. Yeah. Anyway, why did I come up? Oh, because whenever I can save money... I will. And makeup that's amazing, five and under. You know, don't we all want to know those products? Have Q-tips here. Mama. Yes. Oh, come here. Say hi. It's your birthday. Come here. Come. Here. Did you take the makeup off? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's her birthday today. How old are you? Six. Six years old. And she got $100. She went shopping yesterday. She bought, this is one of the things you bought, right? This amazing bow. Show them what daddy got you. Wait, they can't see. Flowers. <laughs> yeah, Never, what happened? I really don't like liquid lipsticks at all. But I'm gonna be out all day and I don't wanna be touching up nothing. Get this one. I think I'm gonna do this. This is the honest um liquid lipstick in the shape BFF. Called yourself, Vita? Hi. Uh, lip definition we're going to use the LA girl in the shade cafe 
I don't want to put too much on my face because like I said, I'm breaking out. So for the face, that's it. But to sass it up a bit, I love glitters. This is some of the glitters that I saw in everyone's makeup kit. Whenever I, I used to, basically professional makeup artists, this is an item that they tend to all have. The Stella Liquid Glitters. And Kitten, Karma, and Diamond Dust. I have two of each. They were on sale last time. Which one? I think this bronze one because I want ten. Went, oh, we already saw my outfit. I have this and this. Whenever you have the same color palette throughout, you know, from head to, to toe, it tends to make your um, outfit look more expensive. So right now we're gonna continue that with this. This one will have a lot. My daughters will be using it. Yes, you. She, she loves makeup, right, Mama? Yeah. You want to do my makeup right now? Put a little eyeshadow on? I love, love, like a natural, but yet a glam and glitter. Here, put some of this on my eye. On the other one? Yeah. Make sure you don't touch my eyelashes. Okay. Yeah, make sure you don't touch my eyelashes. Press hard. Press hard because there's not a lot in there. Here, let's try this one. This one's the same one. This one has a bit more. Don't touch my eyelashes. And only right there. Okay, stop. Now, now, now I'll do this. Okay, I know, Princess. I let you play with the hair at the house. You know that. You don't let me play and make it all messy. What do you mean? You don't let me wear makeup out. You only let me, let me wear makeup inside of the house. Yeah, Princess, because a little baby was soon. Very soon, Mama. I know how you feel because I used to be the same way when I was your age. I get it, okay? But very soon, okay? Mm -mm. Stop, my girl. Stop. Now, let's see. I'm not going to do my hair. This is like my favorite oil and it smells so good. My husband tells me all the time, like, I know you love trying new products, but please... You know, I let your hair off, then you smell so good. And then I brush it. Look, look how bad my hair is. My hair is getting curly now that I'm older, but when I was younger, I always had like wavy hair. But now recently, it's getting like actual, you know, curls. No, baby, girl, stop. So I'm not gonna stop my hair. I'm just gonna let it dry. I think it looks pretty. Do my makeup. I am gonna go put on some golden hoops and I am gonna go paint my nails. And I think I look good. Uh, really quick, I do wanna give you a really quick recap. I am gonna start, you know, treating, uh, taking care of myself better like I used to. Something that really, really helped me as a busy mom uh, is. I have, like I said, my little home salon, but I have a station ready, be making it extremely easy to do a specific job. For example, right there is my desk where I do my hair, and I have my hairspray, my oil, like right there, everything I use to style it, like all my hitting tools hanging there. Um, the big old mirror so I can see. My wax station, you saw everything to wax myself neatly right there. I have a makeup station, all my like go-to brushes, face sprays, all right here. And then this is other makeup that I have in here, like makeup that I don't always use. So yeah, it needs to be incredibly easy. And even if you don't have a whole room in your house like that, you know, make something. Um, I think that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at 11 Karen Cavallaro. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> Bye.